it's always hard when it's in high altitude. <laughs> when you're in Colorado, it's uh, a little more challenging, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to get out there and do something I love again and just get back to being with the guys, being out there and just having a lot of fun, doing the thing I love to do. And how important is that to be on this trip with them? I know that's one of the things that you miss, and you know you get this chance on this trip at least to come out with them. Oh, 100%. I mean, that's the, one of the big things about team bonding is you get on the road, get to see the guys, get to know them even more and more. I mean, we've had a lot of time team bonding, a lot of get to know each other, but when you're on the road, it's something else. It's just a lot of fun. You have a lot of time with the boys, and it just, it's just so much fun. Like, it's hard to describe to anybody who hasn't done it before. So how, how close do you feel? Like, is it a couple weeks, a week? I mean, what do you think? Um, it's just about getting comfortable now. I mean, the knee feels really good. Body feels pretty good. I mean, it's just about getting more and more reps and more and more up to gain speed, more and more comfortable with the pace of play and stuff like that. I mean, uh, everything else, they did a great job with me rehab-wise and uh, working out-wise, so I feel good that way. When that happened, how bad did you think it was in the moment? I had no idea. <laughs> I mean, I tried to keep playing. Right. Um, and I was like, mm, that doesn't feel right. And then I was like, maybe it's not going to be too bad. I thought, even the next that night, I told Donnie the next morning, I said, I don't think it's going to be very long. I think it's going to be maybe a week, maybe two Sure enough, I got the diagnosis four weeks, so maybe maybe I'm tougher than I think I am, or maybe I'm not. I don't know, maybe my body's softer than I think I am. How much did that impact you on the goal right after that happened? It definitely was in my mind for sure. I mean, that was, it was in your mind. You couldn't really extend as much as you could, and they scored, and that was unfortunate. But um, it's so far away. It's like four weeks ago now, yeah. so it's, it's a long time ago. I really can't think back too far about that. But I remember that knee injury, then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and play, and they scored next show. I'm like, hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> How much does it give you a little bit of a reset on your season? Oh, for sure. It gives you uh, time to look back and just think about it and look at what's going on and uh, how I'm doing and stuff like that and just kind of reflect and look back at some old game tape and see what you could do differently, how you could improve and stuff like that. And It's a, it's a good little mental break throughout the season and it just kind of get, gets you go back right into it again. And how would you view that? I mean, some of the early games you made some you know, tough, st tough stops and I know some of the later games you were not as happy with your play. I mean, how would you view it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's just the way it kind of went. I mean, uh, start of the year was great. I was really happy with the way everything was going. Then as it went on, it kind of started a little bit tougher. We had a lot of guys out of our lineup at the time. I mean, we had, I remember one game, we were missing four of our top 60 in Tampa Bay, and it was the back to back. It was like, oh, man, like it was, it was different. But I mean, the, but you know what was nice to it? The guys filled, did a great job filling in. They were awesome when they were, when they were playing in front of me. They did a great job. And, um, yeah, I just look at those games and try to build on build on what I did wrong and try and learn from it and just try to figure out what was I was doing right at the start of the season and trying to get that in going as quick as I can get forward. Were you putting pressure on yourself in the wake of the contract in any way, do you think? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I put any more pressure on myself than I... I, I'm a very, I put a lot of pressure on myself as it is. This is the way I am. That's, I mean, every single person in this room would put the same amount of pressure on themselves. That's why we're here. That's why we're professional athletes because we put a lot, of, we take a lot of pride in our game. And when things aren't going right, it doesn't matter uh, how old you are in the league. I mean, Andy, the same, he puts the same amount of pressure on him as he did as he does now as anybody else in this room. And it doesn't matter how old you are, that drive and that fire never changes. And that's why we make it. And for myself, it doesn't matter if it's a, I have a big contract or I'm playing in the American League under a two-way deal. I'm putting the same amount of pressure on myself to perform and do the best I possibly can for my team because, I mean, at the end of the day, I want to perform for these guys in here because they have my back and I want to have theirs. Tyson Jones was talk just talking about how hungry it seems guys are to get better uh, on this team, and it reminds him of being here in Colorado a few years ago. What have you noticed in that regard and th th this year so far? 100%. Just a, it's a fun group of guys to be around because when we step on that ice, it's not just going through the motions of practice, not just kind of going up there and dipsy doodling and having a little fun. It's no, we're out there for a work day. And our work days are going to be, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it, but we're going to get better at this process while we're out there. And I mean, that's something that's really special. It's uh, a lot of guys in Winnipeg have the same drive. I mean, around the league, a lot of guys have it, but I think this is one of the most I've seen of a team because everybody out here just wants to do the best they possibly can every single day. And it's a drive. It's competitive for the guy next to you in practice. You're like, I want to beat this guy in practice. I want to do better than this guy. And that's how you get better as a team, better as a group. And for myself, that's that's what makes me better, and it's just exciting to be around that. And that atmosphere, kind of the, the energy and the atmosphere, just kind of builds and builds and builds. As you've had this step back, what have you taken from the way Anderson's played oh. at, at his age? <laughs> I mean, I think he's the best he's ever been at this age. I mean, I've watched a lot of Andy's games. I mean, he had a couple years here in Colorado that were spectacular. I mean, Ottawa. I mean, his numbers in Ottawa were off the charts. Good. What, I'm, what he's doing now is pretty impressive. I mean, but you see it in practice every single day. You see. You see his love for the game, just how much he loves being around the guys, how much he loves being on the ice. And when you have that and you have the talent that he has, you can do it for a long time, and that's just exciting to see. And I think uh, 
it's just it's just a pleasure to be around, and a pleasure to learn from him because I mean he's a great human being, a great guy, and he's not afraid to share his knowledge. And he's been able to share a bunch of stuff with me that's been really helping myself and just helping my, me understand the game better. And it's just it's a pleasure to watch him around because he he's playing some great hockey. And Uko, you you know what his story is. You've lived it too. Going trying to become an NHL player and come up from the AHL. What have you thought of him at this point? Trying he's to battle a, through that. He's been great, man. He's he's a big guy. He's a big boy. He's got so much talent. I mean. And he's getting more and more comfortable every single game. I know my first taste of Uko I had that was last year. He played TBS in Winnipeg. And he had a heck of a game that game. He played really, really well. So I just, there's so much talent in that guy. And he's got a lot of ability. And you see it every single day in practice. Once again, his, he's got the drive and the competitiveness to get better every single day. And he's out there working hard. And that's just what you want to see. And it's been a lot of fun to be around him. And I think us three of guys have a great relationship, a great working relationship. And we really learn from each other and just try and have fun together and do the best we can for this team together.